Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club yesterday organised the 17th race for this season, held at the club's racetrack in Al Rafa area in Sakir. The race was held for the Southern Province Cup and the Cups of Al Sharif Group and the Cup of Crown Industries. The event was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race and an audience of horse racing enthusiasts. The Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, presented the Southern Governorate Cup to race winner Abdullah Fazi Nas. Hassan Al Sharif presented the Second Round Cup to the winning owner Amar Al Bosta and Hussein Al Sharif presented the Third Round Cup to the winning owner Hussein Ibrahim Al Afu while Isa Khaled al-Sharif presented the fifth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa. Mohammed Fawad Kamal presented the cup of the seventh round to the winner Haida Ibrahim, while the managing director of Crown Industries Company, Ali Abdurrahman al-Saad, presented the cup of the fourth round to the winning owner, Mohammed Jazim, and the cup of the sixth round to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa.
Works Minister Ibrahim bin Hassan al Hawaj paid an inspection visit to the first phase of the construction of roads leading to the city of East Sitra to review the latest developments of the project. The minister affirmed that the ministry is working to keep pace with the kingdom's urban and investment development. He said that the ministry is providing integrated infrastructure in a way that contributes to achieving development goals, implementing the goals of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and strategies for developing local planning and facilitating the movement of citizens, residents and visitors to the kingdom. Tourism Minister Fatima bin Shafar al Sarifa met Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority CEO Dr. Nasser Kaidi, Zaya Corp Akar CEO Fawaz Ali al Jaider. The meeting discussed the latest developments in the Conrad Residence Project at the Bahrain Financial Harbour, the Sayakop Tar Project and the tourism licensing procedures taken for the Conrad Hotel Project with the executive management. She affirmed the Ministry's support to all tourism projects in Bahrain. The Minister highlighted Sayakop's efforts in promoting the real estate and hotel sector in the Kingdom. She stressed the keenness of the Ministry and the authority to include the project within the tourism marketing programmes implemented by the BTEA globally. al Sarafi stressed the tourism sector's contributions to achieve the Kingdom's strategic goals and support the national economy. The Customs Affairs celebrated the International Customs Day, which falls on January the 26th of each year, in the presence of Customs President Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Ahmed affirmed the keenness of the Customs Affairs to annually celebrate this International Day and emphasised the importance of supporting Customs Officers for the notable role and to spread Customs awareness. The President of Customs stressed the need for the next generation to learn the culture of World Customs Organisation and understand the values that bind employees in the Customs work environment. He also underscored the constant pursuit of Customs Affairs to continue developing the services provided to Customs Brokers in a manner that contributes to supporting economic trade and advancing the Kingdom of Bahrain towards achieving the best global competitive positions. The King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence launched the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration in Europe, which comes to reaffirm the approach of His Majesty the King on spreading the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence. More in this report. In line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's approach of spreading the values of love, tolerance and cohesion, the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration was launched in Rome in the Italian Republic. The declaration, which was first commissioned in 2017 in the United States, comes to reinstate religious freedom, mutual respect and peaceful coexistence, despite critical international circumstances. It also showcases the Bahraini model of peaceful coexistence and highlights its experience that advances peaceful coexistence and humanity between the various groups in the community. The declaration comes to reaffirm the importance of having a faith, as faith is the hope of humanity and the framework that defines the foundations of life and the ethics of coexistence between people. The Bahrain International Airport website revealed that there are 51 destinations to travel to and from the Kingdom of Bahrain, in addition to dealing with 27 airlines. The website also revealed the operation of a large-scale air and land network that includes 115 flights per week and 250 vehicles. Earlier this year, Bahrain International Airport received a five-star rating from Skytrax, the world's top airport and airline rating body, for the second year in a row, in recognition of the high standards of its facilities and services. Skytrax announced the ranking, which followed an assessment conducted in November 2022 that included several criteria including direct services for departures, arrivals, diverted flights, airport facilities and customer services, security, immigration and retail, as well as food and beverage facilities. The five-star airport rating is the highest quality distinction awarded by Skytrax for an airport. Skytrax said in its report that the design of the terminal allows for fast, easy and comfortable movement through all stages of travel. The natural lighting that enters the building, the interior decoration and the ceiling design in addition to the artwork scattered throughout the airport add to its ambience. With its advanced technology and convenience oriented approach, the new passenger terminal aims to put Bahrain International Airport on the global aviation map alongside the world's leading smarter airports. It was designed to enhance efficiency and security while meeting passengers' growing expectations for a more seamless airport experience.
the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications revealed that 23,493 passengers used land transportation in Bahrain in December 2022. The Ministry had earlier announced expanding the public bus network by adding new routes to cover all areas of Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's strong condemnation of the armed terrorist attack that targeted the Embassy of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Iranian capital, Tehran, and resulted in the death of an embassy employee and the injury of others. Expressing its sincere condolences and sympathy to the government, the friendly Azerbaijani people and the families of the victim and its wishes for a speedy recovery for the injured. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's firm stance rejecting acts of violence and terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, calling for respect for the sanctity of diplomatic buildings and missions and ensuring the security and safety of their personnel in accordance with the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and International Covenants and Norms. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, has conducted a joint inspection campaign with the Ministry of Interior, which covered several commercial outlets, work sites and labour gathering places in the Maharak Governorate. The campaign resulted in reporting violations related to the labour market and residency laws. The LMRA renewed its call for all members of the society to support the efforts of the government agencies in addressing illegal labour practices by reporting violations via the LMRA's official website or by calling the authorities' call centre.